Welcome to part one of the walking series, choosing walking as your plus size workout to start incorporating exercise into your life. My name is Diane Williams. I am the creator and founder of Curvy Goddess Lounge just for the curvy goddesses of the world. And I define the curvy goddess as a woman whose dress size is in the double digits. So starting from size 10 and on up. And I designed a workout called Curvy Goddess Workout. It's a fat burning all body workout incorporating resistance training, functional core work, and Pilates addressing the unique needs and desires of the curvy goddess. So let's begin. I believe that walking is a fantastic plus size workout to get you started getting into the routine of moving your body and exercising. I think it may be a little too daunting to just dive into a more intense exercise workout if you're not used to exercise. So walking is a great way to begin making exercise a part of your lifestyle. If you follow some basic guidelines, then then you'll be walking in no time, avoiding injuries, um, avoiding certain problems. So we're gonna talk about these things you must always remember to check with your doctor. That's the first thing that you need to, to do before starting a walking routine or any exercise program. It's always important to remember if you are new to exercise, you need to gradually build up your routine. So taking a five mile hike is not recommended and just not wise. And although the Surgeon General recommends 30 minutes of exercise daily, you may have to decrease that amount depending on your current activity level. So if you're not, you know, if you haven't ever exercised or it's been years since you started an exercise routine or since you've exercised, you may think about just 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to start. And so that's just a better and wiser approach. Start slowly and then increase the amount of time you spend walking each day or even week. Set small goals for yourself when beginning. It's much easier to see yourself losing five pounds than 50 pounds. And you're less likely to lose faith if you're continually hitting small goals along the way. You need to make it a habit. If, if you only walk sporadically, you are less likely to stick with your program. Whereas if you do it at least five times a week, you'll find that it'll become a part of your daily routine and your body will miss it if you don't do it. Keep up a good pace while walking. This is especially important if you're doing it with a friend. It's important to know what your target heart rate should be and check it periodically while walking to make sure that you're getting the most out of your exercise time. Stay hydrated. That's extremely important so that you can maintain the right level of exercise while taking care of your body. Dehydration is a serious condition and it can affect you even after working out. Watch out and stay safe. It's best, it's best to walk where there are other people or with others, um, walking during the day or on well-lighted streets or walking areas. And if you can't find a safe area to walk outside, then consider purchasing a treadmill or joining a gym. Next up, part two of the walking series, finding the right pair of walking shoes.